we're going to take a look at the percent proportion. The percent proportion and problems involving it will always have this form. Part over base equals the percent over 100. Now there's some key words we can look for in the problem to tell us where to put the numbers that we're given. The part is suggested by the word is. The base is suggested by the word of or the total. And finally the percent we look for the percent symbol. Okay, if we're given a number and it has the percent symbol, it must go in this place. The 100 will be there all the time. We can fill that in right away when we start the problem. Let's take a look at some examples. Example 1, 18% of 150 is what number? We start out the problem by writing our ratio. We're going to have two ratios set up something like this. On the bottom, we're going to have 100. Okay, every problem in this section, we can start out by writing that because they're all going to have it. Then we start looking at the, the question. 18%, okay, it has the percent, so it must go above the 100 right here. Okay, if you see the percent sign, that goes in the percent spot, which is right above the 100. Then we continue through the problem of 150, of suggests the base. So the 150 is going to go on the bottom, 150. Our final spot gets filled in by a variable, and we're going to solve for that. That's the what number. To solve, we use our cross products. So we're going to take x times 100 and 150 times 18. So that gives us 100x equals... 18 times 150. Then we simplify 100x equals 18 times 150. Now let's pull up the calculator and we'll figure that out. 18 times 150 equals 2700. So here we have 2700. Then to solve, we want to get that x by itself. To do that, we'll divide by 100 on both sides. These cancel out, of course, and we're left with x equals 27. So that means 18% of 150 is 27. That's our solution. Let's take a look at a second example. 75 is what percent of 250? Again, our problem is going to start out with two, or with the skeleton of a proportion. 100 is on the bottom here, because it always is. Then we start looking at our problem. What are we given? 75 is. Is suggests the part right here. So 75 is going to go on the top. What percent of 250? Of 250, this of is the key word. That is the base. So 250 goes on the bottom right here. Then our final spot, we'll just put a variable in there. Whatever variable you, you like to use, I like x. Then we're going to take our cross products. So we have 75 times 100 and 250 times x. So we take those, 250x equals 75 times 100. Simplify, 250x equals 75 times 100 is 7,500. To solve this equation for x, we want to get rid of that times 250. To do that, we divide by 250 on both sides of our equation. Divide by 250. This cancels out. We're left with x equals 
Hmm, 7,500 divided by 250. Let's go back to our handy dandy calculator. 7,500 divided by 250 equals 30. So our answer here is x equals 30. Now, it asked for what percent? When a problem is asking for a percent, then we should give it a percent for our answer. So the answer for this problem would be 30 percent. So percent proportions, if you can memorize this, you're all set. Okay? The is, is suggests the part, of suggests the base, and the percent symbol tells us that the percent goes right up on top of this 100. All the problems will be in this form. Just look through, find those key words, place the numbers in their correct positions, use cross products and solve, and you're all set.